Hello, I'm Rob Eastaway. I write books about maths. I wrote this one called Maths for Mums and Dads with Mike Askew, explaining uh, the way maths is done these days and how to make it a bit uh, more fun at home with your kids. And also with Mike Askew, this book, Maths on the Go, uh, with ideas for how to um, engage uh, your children in maths and make it all a bit more digestible. Today is National Numeracy Day, so I thought I would share with you some of my top tips for how to engage your children with maths. Tip number one, maths is not homework. I would say that most uh, parents probably, that most of the engagement that uh, they have with uh, maths is through homework, the homework that their children bring home. And of course the scene is often uh, very much one of, um, oh, is that the way they do long multiplication these days? That, that's uh, completely different from the way I learnt it. Let me show you how it's done. And the child saying, I don't want to know how, uh, how you do it, mum or dad. I, I do it the way my teachers do. Um, or the child going to the parent and saying, oh, can you help me with this? And the parent thinking, wow, I have not touched Pythagoras since I was 14. And let me remind myself what it is. And the child saying, uh, um, I just want the answer. I don't want to lecture. So it all gets very fraught. And actually, it creates a very bad impression of maths. So uh, my slightly controversial first tip is to say, think of maths as everything except homework. I think it's much more helpful uh, to your child's education to make maths a part of what you do in your life when you are cooking, when you are shopping. It's something that you do with your child and they begin to see the relevance of all these numbers that they're learning at school to things that are actually important. Tip number two, make maths a discussion rather than a test. I know it's very tempting for us parents to want to see how good our children's maths is and say, okay, so how many scones are there in this tray and make it into a question that they have to answer. But of course, most children really don't like being put on the spot like that and they start avoiding uh, uh, those kind of questions because they're afraid of getting it wrong. So instead, uh, my tip is to make maths a discussion, something you do together. So instead of how many scones are there in that tray, to say, I wonder how many scones there are in the tray. It's a, it's a thing we're working on together. Ask your child to uh, show you the way they do things, that get them to play teacher, partly because they may actually be doing calculations or, or different maths operations in a different way from the way you were taught. So it's an education for you, but also it helps you to see the way they think about things. And when you do uh, do a maths question together and they come up with an answer, I think it's really good to ask them, how did you get that answer? Uh, not only when they get it right, but also when they get it wrong, because sometimes they get it right for the wrong reasons or they're, they're, they're thinking very well, but they've made a little slip. So uh, it just helps you to see into your child's mind and see what things they might be finding difficult. Tip three, play games with your child. I think one of the most natural ways that you can get involved in maths with your children is by playing games with them, games that involve numbers and counting and so on. And at the earlier stage, that's games like snakes and ladders. And I think it's really good to play on a board that has numbers on it. So you can actually count along if you're on square seven and you roll a four, you count on eight, nine, 10, 11. So you're very naturally doing adding um, uh, and, and counting sort of maths like things, but with a purpose and therefore it's much more fun and much more relaxed. There are so many games out there and games that you can adapt or invent for yourself. So I would say try and find at least one opportunity a week to play a game with your children. Tip four, build your own confidence in maths. You'll feel much happier doing maths with your child if you're more confident doing it yourself. Uh, but it's very hard for most people to admit any weakness in maths and certainly to talk to anyone else about it. So how can you brush up uh, your confidence uh, in a way that's private? Uh, well, one of the ways of doing this is to take the National Numeracy Challenge. And that way, in the privacy of your own home, uh, locked away in a room, you can just test out uh, gently at your own pace how you get on with a number of different challenges. And that way you'll find out whether maybe percentages of things you need to work on or fractions. And you'll probably find you're better at a lot of things than you thought you were going to be. So maybe grab a glass of wine, turn it into a little celebratory experiment and test out how good your math skills are now and where you can improve. Tip five, inject some fun and laughter into maths. 
children love silly things and the younger they are the sillier they like it to be and you can make math silly and into a much more joyful thing um just by turning it into something where they can see that you aren't taking it too seriously perhaps the most powerful method i found of making maths fun for my kids and making it into something where they're collaborating with me against some kind of enemy was to invent the idea of having puppets and i would just use my own hands as puppets and you know a hand will be a puppet for a child up to the age of eight or nine they're happy to accept that um, sometimes i'd use physical puppets and let me introduce you to one that i used um, his name is um, richard smith uh, here he is. Hello, I'm Richard Smith. And, and the thing about Richard is that Richard uh, claims to be the only mathematician in the village and he reckons he's brilliant at maths and everyone else is rubbish. So Richard would come along and uh, this would often be at bedtime and he would say something like, uh, I'm the only one who knows four times six. And then he'd go off. <laughs> and then of course, child and I can work out what's four times six. Um, often my children with Richard there, you know, not far away, would whisper to me the answer, he's 24. But it's great because it's funny and everyone is better at maths than Richard Smith. I disagree with that point. I'm a numbers person. <laughs>